goodness. I think this is the best view we've ever had for a dinner. Wow. Oh my gosh. We're Keith and Deb, and over the last eight months, we've been traveling around Europe. We last left you in Rome, where we saw some incredible sights, had our first taste of Italian food, and spent time with old friends. Subscribe to follow along. This morning, we said bye to our Italian family in Rome and took a bus. Wait, we need coffee. Oh my god. I can't get over Italian coffee. By the way, we took a bus to Siena. We're only here for one day, so we're gonna make the most of it and explore and see as much as we can. Starting delicious cappuccinos. There were only two euros for a grande, which means double espresso, because it's noon and this is my first coffee of the day. Whew. wanted to come to Italy as everyone wants to come to Italy. Mm -hmm. The same reason we I've never been, Keith's only been to Milan and Venice back in the day. Yeah. And now we've done Rome. In the next four videos we're gonna be doing sort of the very popular route you do through Italy, which through is the Tuscany. Tuscany area. Right, so we're starting off in Siena here we're at the Piazza del Campo and we're gonna have lunch right now. Yes. Because we're always hungry. And we brought sandwiches. So we're gonna have a little picnic in this beautiful square and we're ex just so excited to just indulge in all things Italy as we already did in Rome. It's so good, Pete. You cry so good. You're kidding. No wonder people come here. <laughs> Instantly one of the best pizzas I've ever had. Best pasta I've ever had. More pizza, pasta. We haven't had gelato yet, so that is on the list. That's next. But this, this town is very beautiful so far. Well, we were just told off. Can't eat, no, can't eat in the square. Eat in the square. <laughs> you can eat surrounding it, and you can eat standing. And you can smoke around it and but stuff. But you can't sit and eat. Ah, it reduces the pollution. That's fine. I managed to get two sandwiches in me. I still have one left, and Keith has one left, so maybe we'll go eat the last one somewhere else. No rush. <laughs> okay. The other thing she said, which is hilarious, is you're allowed to eat ice cream sitting in the square. So on either side of us, there's groups of people eating ice cream, but our sandwiches were not allowed. Funny rules. Okay, so we found some really interesting facts about this beautiful, gorgeous building behind us, and turns out it's like it was like the town hall. The tower was built to be exactly the same height as the Siena Cathedral, as a sign that the church and the state had equal power. Which I think cool. is so cool for when this was built. It was like church and state are equal, which you don't see that a lot in Italy or other places in Europe yeah. during this time period. Built in 1348, so it's a while ago as well, isn't it? We would have gone to the top of this tower, but unfortunately it's sold out for the day. Mm -hmm. So we won't be going to the top, but it was still really cool to see inside this building. Throughout history, this square was used for multiple different things. It was a market at times. It's the most important square in Siena. There, it was a really big deal when that fountain was created because it brought running water to but the square. But most importantly, it's home of the Palia horse race, which is like this crazy race where they, they have like thousands of people right here. And on the outside of the square, they line it with clay and these people race each other bareback on horses and they can knock each other off. It's just nuts. Yeah, apparently it's a thing to see. <laughs> I don't know if it still exists. Does it still happen presently? It probably does. Mm -hmm. What the heck is this cathedral? It's stripes. It's so gorgeous. Horizontal stripes. stripes. You say how much you love stripes. Wow. I've never seen anything like this. That's fascinating. Why did they make them all like this? <laughs> it's so like, you know? It's beautiful. So 
it's striped like this because these are the symbolic colors of Siena. And what's amazing is this church took 150 years to build. Classic. And it was finished around the same time as the state building when we were just there. Also, there's like an unfinished part over here, the unfinished facade. They probably were extending the, the whole place. And then something happened and it never happened. But yeah, the stripes over here are actually on the coat of arms, this the black and white. Beautiful. It's church. very unique, I have to say. Just came around the corner and the amount of detail on this facade of the church is I literally came around the corner and was like, oh my god, oh my god. Like, I just can't. It's the west facade. It's so beautiful. I understand why it took 150 years to make. Jeez it's Louise. Insane, huh? Oh my gosh, you look at it and just, oh, so much detail. Now that is an impressive cathedral. Duomo di Si. This has been like a really beautiful video too, and I screwed it up. Duomo di Siena. Uh, probably the cleanest looking most sort of like unique cathedral we've seen apart from the Sagrada Familia. Beautiful. What's next, Abby? Gelato! There you go. So my cousin Emily was in Italy just before us for like three months and she said this was the best gelato she had. We think this is the right place. It could be the wrong place, but we're gonna try it. There's gelato in Italy! Oh my god. I gotta eat it quick. Yeah. Oh my god. Amazing. So, tiramisu and pistachio, which I think could not be more iconic. Classic Italian. It's phenomenal. It's a creamy, it's such a. It makes all the other ice creams, I honestly, look. Taste different. <laughs> it's like all the food here. It makes everything else inferior. <gasps> I just tried pistachio for the first time. Is it really good? I've never had pistachio ice cream until now. <laughs> yep, you got your ice cream done. I may have been waiting for this for the last three days since we've been in Rome. But I was just too full after lunch that we didn't get gelato. So we did gelato in the middle of the day and it's gonna be a new tradition I think. Mm. So good. Cheers. Look at this big cathedral here on the mountaintop overlooking the city of Siena. Basilica Cateriniana San Domenico. Mm. It's very large. I was just doing some research. I think I know where we're gonna eat tonight because- Gluten free stuff. Yes, there's options here too, so that's exciting. But right now we're gonna head back, have a little rest time and- Pee break. Keith really needs to pee, to pee. so we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> ah, that was nice. Now it's dinner time, we got reservations, let's go. It's Friday. It's what? I think this is the best view we've ever had for a dinner. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's this, and then the church is right there. This is so magical. And we can magical. see the tower too. Yeah. Everything. Just wow. And there's good free stuff. Yes! <laughs> How is this even real? That's insane, man. We're surrounded by beauty and it's so tranquil, isn't it? It's amazing, it's just peaceful and the quiet. The lighting is amazing. This is what Tuscany must feel like. <laughs> I mean, it is what it feels like. <laughs> magical right now, it's definitely magical. I'm hungry. Mm -hmm, I'm Let's look at this menu. Mm -hmm.
So night happened really quickly, and Keith's just looking at the menu. There's so many pizza options here. There's a lot. I got some house red. It smells amazing. The view is amazing. Food list goes on forever. Yeah. Okay, the camera probably won't pick it up, but we were just sitting here enjoying our Tuscan wine, and we can see the moon rising over Siena. What is life? What's the moon rising? Get over this. Yeah. This is crazy. Also, we look a little tired because we were really going at it in Rome with Gabby and just hanging out and taking in as much as we can, but we are so excited to be here. So, sorry if we look fatigued. We're not really loving this. Food is here, and I got gluten free, and Keith got normal. It looks amazing and beautiful, but I will say right off the bat, I know it's not going to be as good as my last gluten free because I can tell this is like the like frozen gluten-free pizza and not the like real homemade one which was last time but I'm still very excited. So apparently this is a Siena pizza called the Forteza. Maybe the Fortress perhaps. I haven't had the non-gluten-free pizza yet because uh, in Rome we had like the best gluten-free pizza in the city, maybe in Italy. Instantly one of the best pizzas ever had. Yeah, it's gluten-free! It's just... So I haven't tried the real crust. That's some gourmet pizza, wow. That is so good. So fancy, I'm, I got the rocket on top, the arugula. Yep, nothing like pizza in Italy, man. That's for sure. So, off the bat. It is what it is, it's like Canadian. <laughs> Gluten-free. But I'm not complaining. The swift on top is good. Good job Another pizza in Italy. Mm -mm. Ready to go? Yeah. It was a view. A nice romantic walk home now. And we're back. Siena is beautiful. What a town. Incredible. Amazing, amazing views, amazing history, pretty good food, gluten-free, maybe not so much. It's hard to find, but there's some in Italy. But we're pooped and we have a big day tomorrow, so good night. Good night. We were wondering why we couldn't take a selfie with it in the background, because it's like glowing white. I took my glasses off. I can't even look at it. <laughs> really can't. <laughs> oh, I was talking to that guy, I thought it was you. <laughs> then I was like, what? Then he kept running into me. And now we made it to the Basilica Santa Cati. I literally was able to say it like 10 times fast a second ago. Wow. <laughs>